Eh, now citing primary school, Uzala. Now it be this. The school don't destroy finish. Government not even they do anything. The teachers they be they manage primary six. That was on all over video. Primary six, primary five, primary four. That was even primary three. Don't even destroy finish. As they call this morning now, huh? the two classes submitted can we remain. The other one don't stay for. No, no, children of the enter class. Children of the enter class. Fear no let teachers enter inside class. May has no go school, no go collapse miss them. They just call the secretary to the local government for education. For uh Udena. They call and say, fear as in school B. If they talk story, he said me they relocate the children. Go the next to primary school. Because we don't know where to say the primary schools are not today. Now this school, now we go, time of Ani. Now this school, now we go, time of Bermuda. All the government, where you come at this school? But we don't know when they leave this school. Our children, they don't go to school again. Our children, they don't go to school again. Government, no, they do anything. I bet they shot the beauty. But they see us. We're not the best of And we're not part of the government. It's just that not part of who want the local government. Now the Come community chairman. Now the community call the beauty so on us. Because we wait government, make government come. Government not want to do anything. What did we do now? What did we do now? What did our children do now? Who not children of the go school? Who not children of the go school? Then they call secretary. Secretary say they don't get what they go do. Make them relocate them. Go to community from here. Our children want to try go that side. Our children want to try go that side. I beg. With the beg. May our children go need that. If they did that, they go need that back on me. I have the children, more than need that. More than back on me, more than need that. More than need that, more than back on me. If they so back there, now they go here. Government, government. If they can need that, they need that. If they can need that, they need that. Now they go here, boy. I have the one that can repair. Oh, that is from our school, son. No, I can't repair that is from our school, son. All of our children, go to the school, they beg Papa. Say, Papa, give me food, make any. That Papa never fail. Government, I beg Governor Baseki. I beg, may you come. May you come help with all our community. Thank you. All right. Okay. Hmm. Education is often considered the cornerstone of a nation's um, development, and Nigeria is no exception. With a population of over 200 million people, Nigeria faces the formidable task of providing quality education to its citizens. Public schools, on the other hand, play a crucial role in achieving this goal as they are intended and expected to be accessible by all, regardless of social economic status or of the citizens, um, especially the common man. However, the state of public schools in Nigeria has been a big topic of concern for years. So today we're discussing the state of our public schools and we're asking, what exactly is the future of our education for the common man in Nigeria? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to read one a 4663 So we'll just quickly run through our initial thoughts because I'd like mm -hmm. to take a break and just open the phone line so we'll hear people's thoughts. That video, when I saw it last night, when my sister shared it, I was literally... <clears throat> So first of all, the Umode local government that the man kept on mentioning is actually my local government wow. you know, area in Benin, in Edo State, right? Um, so this is actually close to home. Um, I don't think any of us will be seated here today without quality education. Mm -hmm. True. And, you know, for me, I've always said this thing, and sometimes it, it breaks my heart when I see things like this, because the only thing that you can ever give to any human being is the ability for the person to be able to look at themselves and see the possibility of becoming someone. Like personal development. And you can yeah. only do that when the person has been educated enough, you know, to see themselves in that capacity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I go to school tours and I teach children how to create their vision board, I'm excited teaching them because I understand that the only thing that stops them from their next level or their next level of success is the ability to picture it. Mm -hmm. But when you don't even have the basic education to be able to even see yourself from this kind of community, how do we move from here? Like literally sometimes I wonder how our government, how 
especially officials that have the capacity to change things, how they sleep at night. Now, look at that school. If you see the building he was talking about, is being built by the community. I can totally relate with that, right? Roads in our house, we built it. Even when I was growing up, right, where we lived, because my father is, I mean, he's a builder, mm -hmm. right? He builds roads, he builds houses and all of that for a living. There was a time that we, we had a like that bridge literally every morning, and I kid you not, every morning that we drive past that bridge, I used to, we all used to have our Great. hearts in our <laughs> mouth because it's the so bridge good. was eroding, it was right. eating up. Mm -hmm. So I can, I can never forget the day that my father, he, he just finished a major contract, mm -hmm. right? When he finished that major contract, he still had excess building materials. He deployed everything and constructed a bridge. That bridge is still what stands in that area till tomorrow. So when the Sharia crisis is it the happened bridge in Kaduna, in Kaduna, in our house in oh. Kaduna, when the Sharia crisis happened and the people came, the, like the people that didn't know us, like the, the 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 Muslims came and said, "No, Christians are living here. They want to burn the house." Mm -hmm. That was why my neighbors that were Muslims they stood in front of our house. That if you burn these people's house, be ready to burn our own too, because these people have been nothing but good people. Mm -hmm. And this is just one man making an impact. Not to t talk about someone that you have the capacity to make an impact, to change lives. Do you know what these children can become tomorrow? Mm -hmm. The only thing we are asking our government, we don't ask you to give us money. Give us the capacity to be able to fish. And the only way we have the capacity to be able to make money is mm -hmm. when we are educated enough to know what, is, what right. we need to do. Right. Right. Mm. That we are fighting for basic education. It's a big shame. And I'm really upset. You know, there was something you said, um, and I just found a quote, just to write, piggyback on that. Education is the software of any society. It is what programs us to see the world the way we do and to conduct ourselves the way we do. That's a quote by Peter uh, Mutharika. And then what I wanted to say, remember our initial discussion on values? Yeah. Because these same government schools, this school did not start today. Mm -hmm. So most of the public schools back in their heyday, the leaders we have today, mm -hmm. is this same school that they passed through. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like they put up the schools, they were 13 or 12 or whatever, they went to this school. So how come that this school has given you enough that you can now go to the, 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 the polls or come out for election and now give your certificate and say, oh, I graduated from this school. But then we go back to that schools, those schools, and they are dilapidated. Mm -hmm. So what is now the essence of you being in a power? They say children are the future of tomorrow. Yes, you were a child yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today you are now old. Mm -hmm. So how do you give back? to the society you know for me this is the point i'm trying to make i'm like if the society has given you this if this school has given you education and the exposure you needed to get to this level in life now that you are in this level in life and even more amazing you are in a position in government to do better how come you're not giving better to these schools hmm. let me hear your thoughts dami and i'll come to you alpha well, I mean, the educational system in Nigeria is filled with a lot of corruption. Like I was saying earlier, um, there's currently serious underfunding mm -hmm. for the educational system in Nigeria. And it only goes to show that our leaders are not, they don't take education very seriously. It's not a priority for them. Because you can even tell from the way, from their own personal dealings about all these whole certificate saga. I mean, I'm sorry that I had to tie it to the certificate saga, but you can also tell from that. Because if education was very paramount to them, the way they take uh, maybe tourism or maybe even hospitality or something, mm -hmm. they'll take it very seriously in Nigeria. Because, especially in government school, the... The, the way the, they take the, politics. Because even the, in tourism, they're not paying attention I mean, to this. Yeah. The, 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 the level of nepotism being played in public schools these days is very terrible because you find out that there are a lot of unqualified teachers teaching because there is maybe one headmistress there that has a candidate that she just wants to give a job and then no background check is done nothing is being mm -hmm. done so there is it is it is either we are, we are dealing with procurement fund the money that is being allocated for them to you know buy um, school materials you know chairs tables for the students to learn 
they are diverting the phone to something else and i think that this is just wickedness it's sheer wickedness because your own children are not even in the country to actually mm. study and then the, the people who can the poor right who you have made to remain poor anyway the poor who can afford to take their children overseas to learn you are you are making them even further incapacitated because Mm. I mean, it is one thing to say I want to go to school. This school you are going to, if there is nobody to teach you there, I don't see what you are going oh, to go to there. Then. You know what breaks my heart? Yeah. How did the government schools that back then was the eighth school, how did it now deteriorate to a place where it has become school for the poor? Because education is paramount to our leaders of today. They don't care yeah. about the educational system of Nigeria as much as they should care. Mm. And that is exactly yeah. the problem. Well, let me hear your thoughts. The multiple factors that actually um, have to do with what you were saying about the fall from grace, so to speak, of the public educational system. But what I would like to say generally about education in itself, I heard this thing somewhere, I can't remember where it was that I heard it. The person that knows that he doesn't know, that person is dangerous. But the person that doesn't know <laughs> that he doesn't know, that is the worst type of person that you could ever run into. Because it's like, without education in itself, you are living your life with a blanket over your entire body. Yeah. So you don't even know what parts of your body you have. You don't know what they're cap capable of doing. And you don't see, like you said, the extents to which you can grow and progress as a person. I, we used to do this thing in secondary school where I think I told you about it. You tutor kids from the indigenous community because it's in Ocean State, Iloko. And then the community is mostly rural, so a lot of public schools there. And when you go into the schools, it's, even when I saw this, I wasn't even, yeah. I wasn't even moved because that is similar, comparable to the standard that we, you saw, in we saw, saw there. So when you see situations like that, you get very heartbroken. But what they mm -hmm. now did to make the situation better for us at least was that they brought these students to Alash area and they said, okay, you come and teach them. So on Saturday morning, everybody else will be going for sports mm -hmm. and it's just be me. <laughs> the oh, wow. and I'll be teaching these people at first I used to get very frustrated I was missing out but I realized that because of what I did mm. because I even was educated enough to do it yeah. I've provided someone at least the opportunity to take off yeah. that blanket and yeah. make something of themselves so <laughs> now because of it so many people that were indigenous killing it our last year and even beyond so I guess oh, wow. it makes that much of a difference that's amazing. Let's take a break. Thank you. That's, a, that's amazing. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's take Thank a break. You. We have a caller, but we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Please stay on the line. Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing the state of our educational system in Nigeria. And I think we have a caller on the line. Um, Gabriel, sorry for keeping you. You're alive. Yeah. Good evening. Thank good, you for calling. Good, yeah, good evening. Go ahead, please. Yeah. The well, let me say my suggestion in this is that in Nigeria, government took education seriously, both for themselves and for the children. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't care about the poor. What they care is only for their children. Because they know that none of their children is going to public school. <laughs> and the fact is that the teachers, since the government is not making any, any, any solution to, 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 to school fair, so the teachers should think that the money paid by the students to the teachers, let's just say the parents of the... Of the uh, uh, sorry, the network is bad. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I think we get a, a bit of what you're saying. So if you want to join the conversation, the number to call is 07025 That's the number to call. We're asking, is it possible for us to have a better educational structure for us, uh, especially for children in the public schools in Nigeria? Um, that's the number to call. Remember to turn off the volume of all the devices um, that you're listening in so we, can, we don't get a feedback. I mean, mm -hmm. amazing, because you see, part of why I love the idea of you know people ask me why do we do long journeys mm, i mean Oshun state is mm. not i'm going this weekend to go and see my my younger son it's not a, it's not an easy trip for me i anybody that knows me knows i hate because i have motion sickness right i hate road trips but the reason i actually loved that school is what alpha just described now 
you know you're not so they're looking beyond they're raising responsible leaders mm -hmm. they're looking beyond personnel and saying you know what you know this thing go and find a way to impact this knowledge in the community and from there they've been able to take a lot of those community children that could not have been able to afford i mean they would never have been in their wildest dream they couldn't afford to to good, to, education. To good education most of them got admission fully funded scholarship in olashere oh, because wow. Of this kind of things these are individuals doing pockets of things like literally we're not asking for too much the government is already doing a lot of things we're already doing everything by ourselves, by ourselves. i am sorting, sorting out my road i am sorting out my light i'm sorting out everything the only thing we're begging like how do you watch these children they're not able to go to school if you did not go to school would you be where you are today exactly come on at least give people an option of going to a public school or a private school. Not because we don't want to go to a public school because it is really terrible. But because at least it is good. Both public and private is good. So anyone that I want to go to, I will go to. But let's, let's, take, let's take Loma from Abia State. Mm -hmm. Loma, you're live. Uh, good evening, my dear sister. Good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I have seen the level of anger in your heart. So, in February. We all are not happy. I'm telling you, see, the government have allowed the proliferation of pri private schools. Because of the proliferation of private schools, they now decided to allow the public school to decay. It's quite unfortunate. And that is why I, as lawman, I don't like democracy. If look at what is happening in Gabon. The military don't know what he's doing in Gabon. Eh? Now, if we have to have that type of government in Nigeria, you will see all the public schools will now be reduced. So, I'm using this opportunity. Look at what they see, they're kneeling down, begging. Go to everywhere in this country. So, so, if they will stop the proliferation of private schools and make sure they rebuild this, uh, 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 this, uh, Public school, they review them, Absolutely. make them function, and make them to look like here people can go there and learn. Thank you, Without Lord. it, we cannot do anything. Absolutely. I don't like democracy. Democracy is killing us. Thank, Thank you very much. So, so let me paint a vivid picture. Mm -hmm. Earlier today, in fact, that was a topic, but I couldn't stand that topic because it was too heartbreaking for me. Mm. Now you have neglected public schools, right? Now you have one-man businesses running private schools. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a school right now in Delta State that the police, the police have arrested the head of the school, the owner of the school, the principal. Mm. And I'm, I'm sorry to explain this. This is how painful it is for me. A four-year-old girl was raped by that man. Mm. He did not just rape her. He used Four. scissors. Uh, like literally to... to, to like, so how do, you, how do you sleep? Do you understand? Other parts of the world... People are running away from private schools because it's of no use to them. Yeah. They're just ridiculously really expensive oh, and all of that. Really Some expensive. private schools in Kenya shut down. Why? Because nobody was patronizing them. Yeah. Hmm. And also, part of the things supporting this Japa syndrome is because most of these countries they are going to, they have free and basic education. education. Like, Up yeah, to yeah. university. Yeah. I let's take, let's take youngest old man. People's income for God. I beg, take me, take me around here. Thank you. Good evening. But you will get public airtime no go fi kolo na. Only private airtime go fi kolo na. Sorry. This way, Jare, my dear, is my smile. I don't say the problem they pay you, but uh, remember, say as they pay them, they sweet some more. Hmm. Uh, on a very good day. We have just a very simple antidote to every problem in this country. But the problem is, who is going to implement? Who is going to allow the policies fly? Let's just do a primary two thinking. You know, there's a duty to think about some things. We just think it. But we know it might not happen. You understand? Imagine now there's a policy that everybody decided that anybody that comes into an office in this country must not have any of his child outside the country schooling that they must go through the schools that the average man goes to e.g the public school in fact they will not even go to public school mm. you understand me now you will see how fast those schools will have fence it don't you know any we don't even need any magic 
The problem we have in this country fundamentally is that the policies, the law is not helping the poor man. Mm. It's meant for the rich by the rich and to extend to the rich. So they make a poor, a poor man feel that anger to make it by fire, by force. And how can we fight corruption with such difference? Mm. Okay. When you have a poor man under three percent mm. and a rich man in ninety-eight okay. percent. So basically, especially the politicians, mm. you can see a child going up to if you see the child going to a primary school of where they are paying almost three hundred and forty three forty three sixty thousand per ten. Mm. And and you want me tomorrow to come and understand that they will fix those schools. It's not possible. So mm. my dear, I understand your pain, I understand your anger, mm. but the policies cannot help us. Mm. We just have to change the whole... Let me tell you, even in the local government alone, they decided not to allow those in, in government to go to private schools. Trust me, all those schools will be as fantastic as the private schools. And competition will, 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 will definitely come up. All the people you see really lost today, they all enjoy free school. Mm. They enjoy good so school. Some of them went to the military one, school. Uh, Sorry. With their uniform packed in their bags, absolutely for Thank free you. and food. So then now they are making people people look stupid. Thank you, younger swordman. I was just going to say that the crop of leaders that we have today, do they have young children? No. Okay, go ahead. No, they do. Do they have young children? Um, they go to school in Nigeria. In primary school. Primary school. Uh, Some of them marry as much as four or five okay. wives, so they might have young they, kids. They do okay. have. Okay. Go ahead, please. Children. In a lot of these private schools, you will see um, the children. The bougie there, kids. <laughs> they, so to speak. Well, yeah. Well, um, I wanted to say something. We've been looking at this entire conversation from the um, aspect of politics and the government. Mm. But then it's how we want to uplift private, sorry, public education in, whole, in, like in general. So uh -huh. what I want to focus on now is the curriculum itself. Mm. Something that I noticed... I and my dad do the exact same subjects, the technical drawing, automatic, F math, all of that in secondary school. And it's the exact same things that I'm doing now that he did 36 years ago when he was in secondary school. And then like what I'm trying to get at is the fact that even if we did fix the public the school, building. the physical building, the essence of it mm. still can't Very get cool. you anywhere. Mm. That's why you will notice a, lot, a unique value proposition that a lot of these private um, private schools have is the fact that they offer dual curriculums in the sense that Grange, Nigerian, British, pure British, Temple, British, Lekki British International School, British, mm. Olashere, Nigerian, and British because they know that our own level of our standard for education is not feasible in the international mm -hmm. space. So I guess if we have solved the entire government's problem, whenever that may turn out to be, let's also still look at the education itself mm -hmm. and how we can improve the quality of that as well. Mm -hmm. It's back to say that they are not paying attention to the educational system as yeah. much as they should. Let's take some comments and we'll come back to the conversation. Go, uh, you can go, um, Dami. Uh, I don't think I have any comments. Okay, Rwanda rose from the ashes of war in 1994. Today, Rwandans withdrawing kids from private schools to public schools because of what a visionary leader had done there. Yes, it is possible to have a better educational system in Nigeria, especially the public schools. The only missing link is visionary leadership who genuinely have the interest and progress of Nigerians at heart. This is from Ni Inomoli. Okay, I think he's the same person who sent this. Mm. On our main topic for discussion, education and public schools in Nigeria, the quote of today is apt on this. Successive governments since... Um, I'm not sure... I would say since 1983. Okay, since 1983, neglected education and the public schools was of education being highly commercialized in Nigeria today with zero holistic approach and regulation of such critical sector. From teacher training to outdated curriculum, curriculum poor infrastructure, etc. The issues, <laughs> the issues plenty. Sad part is those who enjoyed education in public schools in this same Nigeria now running Nigeria. Me from Omo Lagos. Mm. 
Yeah. I mean, I think uh, I don't have a message, but I think Alpha made a very, very valid point about the curriculum because right now the world is fast becoming, it's not fast becoming, it has already become like a global village, yeah. Yeah. you know, such that, you know, we need to be educated such that I can work here, I can be educated in Nigeria and use my certificates to get a job somewhere else. Do you mm -hmm. understand? But right now, people are not, and I think we discussed this one uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe last month, mm. that right now Nigerians are not being educated to meet the needs of the 21st century. Yeah. Oh, yes. Remember yeah. when a lecturer came here that I asked him a question about what really is education. And he said that for you to be um, educated, you know, like for you to identify as a literate person, you have to be able, it's not knowing math and, and English and literature. No, you need to be own. able to think mm -hmm. for yourself. Yeah. You need to be able to find a solution for yourself. You need to be so valuable in such a way that they can throw you into any situation and then you know how to use what you have learned in school to like think up a solution. Yeah. And sincerely speaking, I mean, even if they renovate that building, you know, or make it look better. Are those no, you start from education. somewhere. So I yeah. get what Alpha is saying. Yeah, hundred percent. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. I studied physics in school. I'm a very hands-on person. Yeah. Right. And imagine four years of studying physics. I did not build anything. <laughs> I didn't do no nothing. Lab. Do you understand? <laughs> so first of all, the thing they were even teaching us, they were teaching us analog. The world had even moved away. Gone you understand? They, they had even. They were already even living the digital phase. I, I have to be very specific to say on that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much you would agree with this, but then I believe in Nigeria we have a dominant culture of subservience. As for the teachers in most of these schools, let's say the public schools, mm -hmm. they want to have the feeling of being the only person that knows how to do something yes. in the classroom. So that's the thing that you're saying about people being able to learn on their own and being able to expand the knowledge on their own. It can't exist in the Nigerian educational society because mm -hmm. the very idea of a student being independent of the teacher frightens them. It, already, it shakes their ego to some extent. Like, makes them so feel like they're going out for relevance. Because, so should I say now that because my lecturer or teacher is going to be frightened if I decide you to take know. it? Because the truth <laughs> is that when I was in secondary school, I had this issue. Yeah. I, 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 let me say I understood English more than my English teacher, yeah. mm -hmm. quite frankly. And every time he comes to class and he's maybe saying something or even points at me to ask a question, I'm saying the correct thing and, of course, correcting him. But he always picked on me. And I'm like, it is not my fault that you don't know beyond what you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I go out of my own way to try and pick on things here and there to learn new things. But if you don't do that, I don't see... You, you can live out. What is it? It's, it's a form of insecurity. Okay, you share your experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's a form of insecurity. Go ahead. And then, like, I feel like that insecurity that you're referring to comes from this comfort zone that we as Nigerians are so... So, um, I'm not even sure what the word is, but we are very... We have very large tendencies to it's get become a norm. Yes, because the thing that you said about um, those schools mm -hmm. being so big and so like proper back in those days, mm -hmm. but now they're almost nothing. It's because back in those days we got comfortable. Nobody was thinking about how we're going to keep reinventing. Well, fair and Nobody thought about the population yeah, in yeah. boom. No. Nobody thought about the future. Mm -hmm. it's like yeah. As long as it works at mm -hmm. that point in time, it's good. And I think there's also a similar problem that the leaders share because for them, the, all of their children are abroad or in the best private schools in Nigeria. So they don't have any natural incentive to do these things that you're saying. Mm -hmm. They are comfortable, so they can't even physically see the problem that everyone else is having to deal you know, with. And it's actually so sad. You it know, is, so really for sad. us to find a solution, right, first of all, it cannot be outside of government because yeah. we've, we've allowed the private sector to come in too much. And trust me, there are no regulations. They do yeah. anything. Yeah. You know, people say, oh, private school, private school. Trust me, it is the grace and mercies of God. That, mm -hmm. Because even in those private schools, tr there are so many things that have gone wrong. Yeah. True. Even in terms of, so you are paying a lot of money, it's still nothing because your children are not well taught. No, mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't challenge a teacher. There was a time after, I think he was in year four. If he forgets the story, I remember it clearly because I went to meet that teacher. <laughs> so there was, was it year four or year three? I can't remember. I don't know. Yet. Was, <laughs> the, the, this, this, you know, you, he gave you an assignment and you... Yeah. you yeah, it was a he. He gave you an assignment and you, you, you solved the problem. Mm -hmm. And he got the answer. But because he did not do, use the, 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 the solution of the, I mean, whatever, the, step the, of the, method, teacher, yeah. the method of the teacher, he wronged him. I said, ah, you, you met the wrong mother. Mm -hmm. So because you see the way I am, I'm a tyrant when it comes to, see, forget about anything. I don't hold Gucci. I do not wear Gucci bag. I know they wear Louis Vuitton. 
I do not wear a uh, Bottega or whatever or Burberry. <laughs> it's because of education of these children. Because okay. I understand mm -hmm. that if you give a child quality education, they can stand anywhere in this world and they can right. be somebody. True. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we break our backs to be able to give our children quality education. That is all we are asking this government. If you don't solve any problem, leave light. We are already finding already solutions to light. At least give these children a chance to go to school. For goodness sake, it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. It's looking... See, the same schools that you people went to and became somebody. How do you feel going back to those schools? And saying it's so delightful. Do you understand? My mother said that when she was in polytechnic, they used to come and launder her clothes for her. They used to give them, if you see the big chicken, they used to give them in NYC when they were eating. Like literally, everything you people enjoyed, you have wiped it away. Mm -hmm. Let's take more comments quickly. Alpha, you want to say quickly? I read the comment and I have something to say after. Um, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag with state of public schools. What is the future of education for the common man in Nigeria? It is so sad that we have a group of people that call themselves a government and they do not behave like one. We do not have a government and that's the plain truth. They do not care about the education system in Nigeria because their children don't school here. Imagine the structure of a school in those states. If education is like this in Nigeria, sorry to say we do not have a government and education. It is so sad that this is happening in my dear beautiful sister's state, Sister Uwa. It's also my state, by the way. <laughs> sister Uwa must be really heartbroken and disappointed. Nice to see Alpha Saleh in the studio. Nice to see you too. As fine as mother. Thank you very much. My name is <laughs> Daniel Umo Ways Regular Fine. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Quickly. All right, so this is from Anonymous, and the person says, To me, since the government did not care, we should use the children's school fees to wow, do the, the renovations. <laughs> One minute, quickly. You wanted to say something? Even if every single factor that we have discussed this evening mm. comes into play, at the end of the day, some people will still not take the active choice to pursue education in itself. Because yeah. in Nigeria, there is, or let's say it's even more of an African thing, mm. there are three major pathways in life. If you're not a doctor, you're a lawyer, if you're not a lawyer, you're an engineer. An engineer. <laughs> and then a lot of these things, even the market for it is it rapidly is small. decreasing. Yeah. Yeah. Most of it has gone abroad to different countries. The people that we need, the plumbers, the technicians, the electricians, people that can actually do day-to-day -day stuff that keep a country running. We don't go to school to study that. And then if you try to do that, the diversification of the curriculum isn't even, doesn't even accommodate any of that. I will tell a very short story. When I was registering for my jam, the people that, there was this girl that had to pick a different subject, a subject that she hadn't done for three years of senior mm. school, just because, just because the subject selection for her career course mm. wasn't a thing. Mm. <laughs> How does that even make any sense? So you don't have to do a, a subject that you haven't read, you haven't studied for because... It does, you know, they, you know they, there's, there's no there option for, for, there's it. No option for mm. it. May the Lord bless so the I reading of his word. We have run out of time. You want to say quickly? <laughs> yes, I want to say something very quickly. I think another mistake that we're making when it comes to education is we just were centered around school education. There's yeah. also vocational... Yeah. yeah, that's, that's what, what I want to yeah. this point. There's also vocational education that we need to that focus I think on. that we should focus on other than just school education. I think yeah. if we don't... Uh, if our guest does not cancel tomorrow, we continue this conversation tomorrow. I think it's worth having a second conversation right. around. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, at 8 p.m. Remember to like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. If a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. I bet you should go and think about it. Well. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Ciao.